how to make your own methane barrier when you're doing new construction. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy and on this channel we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. Now today I want to share with you how to make a methane barrier when you're making a new home. So we're building this home in Los Angeles, California and as I've mentioned in other videos, almost all of downtown had oil wells at one point and because in the old days they weren't real careful about it, a lot of that oil spilled onto the ground and it's decaying. So as it decays, it, it breaks down into methane, which is really bad for the environment, but it also can build up underneath your house and make a bomb, and blow your house up. So whenever you do new construction here in LA, they have you do soil testing. So we had to hire a geologist and it was really expensive. I think we spent about $30,000. They came out, they did three separate studies because they do one study and then they found methane and then then this, the city wanted more studies. And then once they find it, then you have to pay for what's called a mitigation plan, a methane mitigation plan. Initially, when I looked at this thing, I thought, oh man, I wasn't expecting this. And it was pretty expensive. I called around. There were only two companies in Los Angeles that did this level of work, this methane mitigation, which I thought was kind of odd because there's so much methane here and so much, you know, so much oil here in Los Angeles. So the cost was $50,000. Now, if you're budgeting to build something, all of a sudden you have an unexpected cost of a, you know, a thousand or two thousand, that's one thing, but $50,000, that's quite a bit. So, you know, basically they have to wear a full body suit and they have to spray this material and it can only be done by some advanced engineering companies. That's why there's only two that do it. So I, it was a real bummer. But then I started talking to the contractor that's helping me make the foundation and I hired a deputy inspector, which is required by the city. And I was talking to him about it and he just happens to be a construction engineer and his specialty is methane. And they said, no, dude, you don't have to do all that. That is like kind of like the gold standard and that's what the geologists will recommend to avoid liability, but that doesn't mean you have to do that. I said, okay, it's great. So what we did here, I'm gonna go by step by step what we made, it still meets the requirements for the city, but in, in total, it probably cost me about four or 5,000. It was really easy to make. You could actually do it in about a day. So let me give you a tour through this and explain to you what, what exactly it entails. So this is what our methane system looks like. We made the error which ended up costing me about another $3,000 of not reading the plan and noticing I had to put this methane barrier in. So we had to dig underneath all this rebar to reinstall it. So make sure you meet your plans. Uh, you're constantly looking at them to make sure you don't make any mistakes, otherwise it's expensive. But it's pretty simple. If you see that white pipe there in the middle, it's just this stuff. It's a pipe that has holes along the bottom. They sell it at Home Depot. You can buy it at Lowe's, any big box store. So it's not very expensive. I think we spent about $200 on it, maybe 300. And that black mesh there is kind of like the stuff you use in garden. And the construction company called it Terratex and it was like 300 bucks for a big roll. And we only used about half of it. So we have a lot left. We're gonna use it on another project we're gonna be doing. So you have to make a hole and then you put this Terratex, the black material, and that's kind of like it breathes, so that allows for methane to seep through it. Then you put a layer of one inch gravel. You'll see those rocks there. So that was maybe another $600. Then you put, after you put that down, then you put the pipe, the white pipe here. And that, that there is just black pipe and plumbing pipe, ABS pipe, which you buy like at Home Depot. Nothing real like fancy. Then your inspector comes, he passes your inspection. Once you're done, you're gonna put another layer of that one inch gravel all around the pipe. And then that black mesh, you can't see it, but it's tucked under the yellow there. It's gonna come out and we're gonna wrap it like a burrito. After you're done with the burrito, you put that yellow methane barrier over the top of it. Now, according to the city inspector, that's supposed to be one solid layer, okay? But 
with some inspectors. They'll allow you to, if you get a construction engineer and they approve it like we did, he's gonna allow us to seal it with that red tape. That red tape is a special tape for methane barriers. Now that, that yellow plastic you see, it's just plastic, but they call it methane barrier. And again, it's from the construction supply company. So you can get that stuff pretty easily and it's not expensive. It was just like a few hundred dollars. So if you don't have this rebar laid out, you can do this like in a day, which we did basically. And it's pretty easy to do. You just have to dig a trench, maybe about, I'd say about 15 inches deep. And then at the end here where you see it end, there's just a cap. So we followed the plans and here, here's a copy of a, of a cap here. You'll see what it looks like. It goes into this room here and it gets capped off. The idea is that if methane is, is underneath the house, it'll seep through the black barrier, seep through the one inch rock, flow into the white pipe, and then the white pipe will vent it out to the side there. You see that? So we actually have two vents, one at each end of the house per the plans. Now the construction engineer told me that that can be put into the walls of the house. That can actually be, that's a three inch pipe there. That could be reduced down to two inches and then you can actually put elbows and nineties and you can put it into the wall and just, it flows up to the top of the roof. Now in our plans, the city also wants us to put a methane alarm. So somewhere along the line in the wall, most likely in the garage, there's gonna be a methane alarm attached to that pipe. But if it, if it ever picks up that there's methane, the alarm will go off. So that's all, that's all you do. And once we're done closing this up with the yellow plastic or what they call methane barrier, we're gonna put more of that yellow tape there, sorry, the red tape, and then we're gonna pour more of the sand over the top of it. And then tomorrow we're gonna pour concrete. So all this is gonna be concrete. It's gonna be the slab. Because again, this is all a garage. So you see there we have a big pile of sand there by the wheelbarrow and then a big pile of rock. That's basically to fill this in. The inspector wanted to see it open. He approved it. Now we're gonna seal it today and tomorrow we're gonna pour. Now those are just regular plumbing pipes, but you can see with all the tape on it, that's the pipe for the methane. So it's not complicated at all. It's really easy to do. I mean, I think we're gonna do another project. I'm just gonna do it myself. I mean, you could do this in a day, really easy. And it saves you $50,000 just doing it yourself. So thank you again for watching. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you, bye-bye.